Hi, this is Lee Garrett and welcome to another weekly tip video. One of the tools that we use to help produce the show had a large update recently. Now Mac Whisper is the application we use to produce our transcripts and closed captions. And since its latest update, I use it myself daily to dictate email and long form text. And it can use AI to transform that dictated text on the fly using ChatGPT. Now today I'm going to show you some examples of how dictation with Mac Whisper works. So let's get to it. So this is Mac Whisper, but you're not going to need the main interface here for what we're going to do today. All we need to use with the application are the preferences and a keyboard shortcut configured. There are some prerequisites, however, that need to be met before you can use this feature. So let's cover those now. If I open preferences and click on the new dictation section, I'll just scroll down here and you can see we need to insert our own open AI API key in order to use the prompt feature. Now I do emphasize you don't need one for standard dictation. That's absolutely fine and that's free with the app. But the prompt feature needs an API key. Now what this does is this is where you can use ChatGPT to carry out some extra work for you once you've dictated your text. Built-in examples here include cleaning up the text as though you're a professional editor. You can translate it into Spanish. And then finally, you can ensure that the dictated text is suitable for a professional audience. You can create new prompts as well, which we're going to do later. Then there's a link here to set up your own key. And that link takes you here to this section. Now I'm going to add my API key in once we pause, but I just wanted to show you that the developer who is great at communication and updating this app does go to lengths here to show you what you need to get this working. So first using an API key means you need the pro version of Mac Whisper. And we do have a link to 25% off of the pro version. Then in the next steps section here, you need to be sure you've added your own OpenAI API key into this field. Make sure you have a valid payment method linked to your OpenAI account and to have used at least a dollar of that balance. Now you must remember that your OpenAI payment account is not the same as a chat GPT plus account. They're completely different things. And this caught me out when I got started as well. OpenAI could really do a better job of explaining that. And the developer, Geordie, even says here that he's contacted them about it. Now, this is where you get an OpenAI key from. So I'm in my account at the moment. This is my profile and I'm in the API keys section. And I've actually got two keys here. And that's the main reason I'm showing you this page. If you want to view a key that you've already created, well, you're kind of out of luck. There's no way of viewing ones that you've already set up. You can edit permissions to use the key, but you can't view an existing one. What you're going to need to do is create a new secret key here. Give it a name and then be sure to copy it because this is the only chance you're going to get to do that and then store it somewhere secure. So I keep mine in one password. Then to delete, if you need to just delete here. Okay, let's get back to Mac Whisper.